What is going on, my friends? Cubs fan Han here for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. And my friends, today we are joined by the one, the only, the darling of the Outer Rim, Jabba the Hutt's personal assistant, Furzatron. What's going on, Urza? Brother, how are you, man? We had a great video over on my channel. Top notch Check it out. tonight. Yeah, yeah, it is good, good stuff. stuff. We, we got good energy tonight, I think. We, we've been talking, so we it's funny. We've been here for like, I don't know, an hour already. We were just, we weren't even making a video. We weren't even talking about our video. We were just talking, and we're like, oh, I guess we should record a video, shouldn't we? Uh, it's just such an emotional ride, this whole YouTube thing. So oh, me man. and Cubs, we're having a little bit of therapy session for both of us. Yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys in the comments, you know, we love you all. Uh, we got sometimes we, uh, you know, got got to talk to other YouTubers about y'all. So. <laughs> <Cubs, laughs> all right, I got a mean, I got a mean comment the other day. Cubs. Mean comment. <laughs> so we talked about three subjects over on Urzatron's channel. Be sure to check those out. Um, I, I'll put a link down below in the description. Hopefully, I'll remember this time. Sometimes I forget. Uh, but we're starting with this right here. We got a survey in the game and i thought it was really funny so while we were putting this video together um we, we <laughs> so we, we have a picture up in the top left right for yeah. um all of the subjects that correspond with it and we were like oh did you get a screenshot of that survey and urza's like no i didn't i was like no i didn't and then we we both said i'll bet you anything go to reddit it'll be one of the top posts and sure enough i went to reddit second post i had a picture of it <laughs> yeah and i'm sure it said bold move cg <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so, something, something like, like that <laughs> Yeah. So what did you put on the survey? They had an open mic, so to speak. Just tell them whatever you want kind of thing. What, what did you say? So I honestly, as a dude who works in marketing professionally, I honestly wonder if they read the last comment for everyone because that's really the most important thing. I mean, it, th there was a bunch of sliders in there about like, oh, how do you feel about new characters? How do you feel about new content? Mm -hmm. What's your overall feeling with just kind of all the different things they've done over the last year? But then at the very end, they had that question, what is the one thing you would tell us to fix the game or to make the game better? Mm -hmm. And I just sat there and I'm like, they're asking the question. And I was just like, there is nothing to do, period. <laughs> and I, you know, I said, I said, there's so, uh, you guys can rework characters. You, you guys talked about doing tune-ups. Yeah. Nothing has ever come of that. Like, there's so many things that you guys have talked about doing and nothing yeah. has come of that. So that was my advice to them. Did you, you obviously saw the survey as well. What did you think yeah. about that last question? So I, I had, I had some words, um, too. <laughs> um, but one of my biggest things whenever I see these is I really, cause something that CG has said, uh, both behind the scenes and in public is that the community sentiment on Reddit, the forums, et cetera, doesn't necessarily mimic the game as a whole. Uh, because, you know, there's a small percentage of people that really communicate a lot, and then there's the people who, um, you know, the, the bulk that play the game uh, uh, more casually. And what I'm interested in is how different their responses would be than what I expect them to be, if that makes sense. So right. I, I really wish that they would make that data public. I, it, obviously, they're not going to. I, and I, I get that too. But I really wish I could see that just to see, is it really that different? Like, does the common person in the community not... Like, you and me, we, we know what the issues of this game are. We, do we not? Yeah. It, content, communication, content, not enough content. It is January 25th. <laughs> And we've had almost nothing, um, you know, and we've had a new movie. We've had a right. new movie. And so I feel like it's kind of obvious what the issues are. I'm curious if the community sentiment past what we see on Reddit, the forums, Discord, etc., would mirror what I expect it to be. That's what I'm curious about. Right. And here's the thing, man. Like, you got to figure there's people that just pick this up game, this game casually, and they just play it just kind of like whenever they're going to the bathroom or whatever. And, you know, there's probably <laughs> this is a, a ton poop of game for all of us, let's be honest. Right. Right. <laughs> I mean, there's just like, there's probably like a million people that, I don't, I mean, maybe I'm embellishing the number, but yeah. That just, they, they don't read the forums. They don't read anything. They get the, like, the, the newsletter email in their inbox, and that's all they. That's all their connection is. They but people like that, though, that. I mean, CG cares about the money, right? And so I feel right. like the people that are really like that, the people that are just oblivious and don't really care, they're, number one, probably not going to take a survey. Number two, they're probably not spending on the game. And so, which, I mean, I don't want to say people who aren't spending on the game, their opinions don't matter. But I feel like if I'm CG, the opinions of those that spend are the ones that matter to me. Uh, right. That's probably how they feel. Um, and so I just, I don't know. 
we'll see what comes of it. So, all right, let's talk about the next meta, Urzatron. Uh, we are moving on to a new era of Gal Galaxy of Heroes with the Galactic Legends. I think this is an interesting subject. Uh, Poe and Finn, uh, Resistance Hero Poe and Finn, have proven to be pretty viable against a lot of teams. We still have a lot of empty holes there. Uh, Hux and Sith Trooper have kind of been the same way. What do you think this next meta is going to look like? Because for the first time ever, we have this buildup. We know about exactly what's coming. And it's two characters, presumably two complete teams. Right. So, I, 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 honestly, man, I'm pretty excited with how Poe has turned out. I'm a huge fan of Resistance Trooper. He's a big part of my channel. So, yeah. if I can find any, any reason to reinvest <laughs> in Resistance, I'm excited about it. Yeah. And I, I have a small preference toward Poe for whatever reason. It could be the character model actually looks really good. It's probably the best character model they've done in a Indiana long time. Indiana Poe. Indiana Poe, baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, but seeing him and Finn work together, yeah. I, I, it kind of bums me out because, you know, I'm a, you know, my, my channel helps me wail on certain things and I kind of wish do I'd wail on Finn. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> I kind of wish I'd... <laughs> I kind of wish I'd wail on Finn, and then yeah. I, I think I I don't know if those packs are available anymore. I don't think they are. Yeah, so, not on Finn. It, it, it's kind of wild to me because now that you see the full piece of the puzzle, you kind of like wonder like why wouldn't they just make the packs available? And maybe they will when, they, when you know the final piece is kind of coming. I bet they will. So, yeah, they probably yeah. will. Yeah, if there's an opportunity, there's a pack. So <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Overall, it's I, I watched a lot of testing between all the different uh, former game changers yesterday and. It looks like you guys have found some some limited success. It's not bulletproof, but again, we're not seeing the full picture quite yet. Yeah. Um, I, I I wonder if they're going to rework veteran shoot vet shoe or if it's going to be a new a chew. Whole, a, I can't imagine they would go new chew, I, given how yeah. bad vet chew is currently. I, I completely agree. I, I feel like we it makes sense to bring in new versions of characters, but they've right. given us a new character for Chewy from that era already. So I feel like it doesn't really make sense to do a new version of Chewbacca. Um, what does make sense, which we talked about on your channel, is bringing a new version of Leia. And so I, yeah. I could easily see the next meta for Resistance being uh, Rey, whatever the new version of Rey is, the new version of uh, Leia with Finn, Poe, and maybe something else. And I think either Leia or Rey will probably be a tank because they keep putting in General Kenobi as a stand-in. It's weird that they keep doing that, but it's obvious that they just want to tank there and they don't have a resistance one yet. Well, you know, Poe, Ray is all the Jedi in one or whatever. <laughs> whatever the line is. What's the, all, all the Jedi all the Jedi, all the live, Jedi in live in you. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. G GK sure. lives in her, so there's synergy there. All right. <laughs> all right, let's move on to our last subject. We're gonna talk about Warrior Presents. This is a subject I've been wanting to cover on my channel. I haven't found time to do it yet. And um, before we talk about the implications of this, what I wanted to say, if, if this ever makes it back to Warrior, I just wanted to tell Warrior that I love you, man. And Warrior is one of those guys that I, I've met in person. Uh, we broke bread together. We shared a good conversation together in my hotel room. I got to know him on a personal level, and I just think he's a fantastic, just outstanding human being. It was really sad to see him leave the game, but it was also kind of happy in some ways because it was obvious that he wasn't very happy based on what he was saying. And I, I'm happy to see that he's doing something that he's more passionate about now, um, and he's still doing it on YouTube. And so all the best to Warrior. I just wanted to make that uh, comment. I just, again, I cannot speak highly enough of Warrior. He was one of those first game changers that really helped me in the game. Um, now, Urza, do you think... Warrior leaving the game, McMull leaving the game, uh, microtransaction leaving the game is some kind of big deal, bad sign for the game. No. <laughs> I mean, I just, th that is the response here, Cubs. I don't. And I'm not saying that because obviously me and you have channels that cover this game. No. I'm saying it because th those guys were clearly burnt out on the game. And if you're burnt out, maybe you need to reevaluate re your life and step mm. back and make some changes. Yeah. Me and you, like, I, I, dude, I don't know about you, but I wake up in the morning and it's like, you know, I get my coffee going or my tea <laughs> and it's the first thing I do. And I'm like, I'm like so excited to like farm whatever, like I'm yeah. farming gear for a sky guy right now. Yeah. And it, it, it's just the first, it's so part of my life. And I, 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 I'm honestly, you know, when we have these long spells of like no new content and there's nothing new to chase. Yeah. You kind of allow yourself to get unfocused a little bit and just go after passion projects. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing this whole time is just like, you know, doing passion projects. And 
to me that's that, that's okay. That's fun. So awesome. I don't think it's I don't think it's a bad news for the bad news for the game at all. I, I really don't. I mean, if you're tired and you're burnt out, then step away from the game. And I completely I'm glad they did. agree with you. I don't think this is necessarily bad for the game. I mean, does it uh, you know affect people's motivation to play? Sure. I mean, maybe there's somebody who is only playing the game for Warrior, and if that's you and you left the game, then sure, the game lost a great player because Warrior quit. Um, but at the end of the day, War. YouTubers do not have some crystal ball of how the game is doing. I right. thought that this game was trending very fast downhill recently. And then I saw that we've made almost a billion dollars on this game. And we, uh, CG, and um, the game made its one of its highest months in December recently with the Hyperdrive bundle. And I'm seeing tons of new people come to the game right now. I think the game's actually in a pretty good spot right now. It's so it's gonna go up and down as all games do, especially live service games with a lot of microtransactions. So, yeah, I agree. I don't think it's necessarily meaning anything. I mean, it probably hurts the game a bit, not enough to put the game in the in the pooper or anything like that. Um, any more than the devs are already trying to do themselves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't think it's necessarily bad for the game either. No, I, I will echo what you said. I've met Warrior in real life, too. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, how's Warrior in real life? I always tell people, I'm like, you think I'm the life of the party? That dude is the life of the party, man. <laughs> that guy can talk. And he, he he's is a goofball, he is man. Great. He's a goofball. He's got a goofy he's side. A go yeah, it's, I'm yeah. like, whoa, dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Yep. So, well, yeah. So I, I think that's a good stopping point. Uh, nothing but respect for Warrior. Sad to see that he's left, but happy to see that he's uh, doing well. And I, I'll echo your sentiment, too. I think especially um, s since starting the second count, I, I really remembered some of the basic stuff that I love about this game. And uh, usually when I get burnt out about the game, it, it's less about the game itself and more that I just wish the game um, was better handled. I, I think that's where I tend to get frustrated. But I still find myself, like, if I think about leaving the game, put YouTube aside. If I just think about leaving the game, leaving the community, it just leaves me with this empty feeling. I just don't think I can do it. I don't I, I don't think I can do it until it closes its yeah. doors. I mean, we're so, I mean, we're so part of this community, man. This it, it's like a do. family. It, it really yeah, feels yeah. like a family to me. It, it, legitimately, and I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm speaking from the heart here, man. Like, I, I, I know I, you I are. Talk to, yeah. I, ta I, ta I talk to some people in my community more than I talk to my real-life friends now. Me, yeah, um, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's There's wild. my family, my, then there's my yeah. Galaxy of Heroes family. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of how it is, man. Yeah, so, sorry, sorry guys, I am putting my own literal family above you, but <laughs> you're, you're on the list, all right? We, we, we both care about you very much, so... <laughs> <laughs> all right everyone there are our subjects for today urza thanks so much for joining me for this video as always love having you on the channel um any any final words you want to get in before i uh, hit hit my outro here <laughs> uh brother i hope we have a lot more content that cg gives us in the coming weeks in the we coming deserve months it yeah. to do a lot more of these videos so thank you so much for having me back on all right everyone thanks again for joining me for the video leave it a like if you enjoyed it and as always my brothers don't forget